Welcome to another episode of Journey Through Apostolic Succession. 1 John 4:6 Scripture says, Whoever knows God listens to us, and whoever is not from God does not listen for to us. From this we know the spirit of truth and spirit of error. Here in the word of God, us refers to the apostles and elders chosen by the holy church. It reiterates the truth that we are ought to be in spiritual communion with our fathers and elders of the church and receive the spiritual guidance to prevent from erring. So today we hear about our 108th pope in apostolic succession. Pope Marinus I was both the pope of the Roman Catholic Church and the ruler of papal states until he died in 882. Papacy began on December 16th, 882. The papacy of Marinus I ended on May 15th, 884. Pope Adrian III succeeded Pope Marinus I. Pope Marinus was the first pope elected from another diocese to serve as bishop of Rome. Pope Leo IV ordained him a subdeacon, and then Pope Nicholas I. ordained him a deacon in addition to his appointments as bishop of kerry treasurer of the roman church and archdeacon he served three popes as a legate or personal representative to constantinople contributions there is not much contributions known about pope marinus the first but what was found is that among his acts as pope marinus the first reversed the stance of John the 8th and condemned Photius was he also held high regard for Alfred the great of England and he absolved the anglo-saxons of taxation and tribute when he became pope he pardoned several priests and bishops that had been excommunicated by his predecessor pope John the 8th one of those bishops was named Formosus who will become pope in 891 his death pope marinus the 1st died in may or june of 884 pope marinus the 1st died in rome he is buried in the portico of st peter's cathedral that's all for today please like and share and look forward to the next episode for christ and for the church god bless you